Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to Simple Living. My name is Ybeth and today I'm finally going to decorate for Christmas. So I did buy a few new pieces to add to my collection if you and if you haven't watched that video I will go ahead and link it down in the description box and also in the card up here or up here I don't remember which side it is go ahead and watch that if you haven't already I did add a few things to my collection um, very neutral very budget-friendly of course I tried to do that to the best I can I really don't buy a lot of things regular price mostly things on sale and if they're regular price they're not that expensive so also don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and make sure to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video it would help my channel a lot it helps YouTube get my videos out there I'm really trying to reach a thousand subscribers if you don't already follow me on Instagram also go ahead and do so I do post a little bit more behind the scenes and a little bit more of my personal life there if you're interested I will go ahead and leave that link in the description box as well and yeah let's go ahead and get started okay. Bookie, bookie. Happy, happy, happy. So I really felt like I needed greenery in our living room aside of the tree. I actually prefer fresh greenery. I actually buy fresh pine. I don't remember what it what kind of greenery it is, but I get it from Trader Joe's and they don't have them yet. So I decided to go to Joanne's and see what they had because a lot of stores already have everything out of stock and I'm so happy that I found these because these are actually perfect. They're super fluffy and big. It actually looks like I have more than one stem in here, which is something that I prefer. And it's much more cheaper for me. <laughs> I also found this really cute pot. Um, for five dollars at the thrift store of course i don't like the color so i ended up painting it black i thought i had matte black but it was actually the satin finish so i didn't like how shiny it was although i did style it here i actually ended up going back and painting it again but with uh black and baking soda to add some kind of texture i also wanted to make it look aged so i ended up using a little bit of white paint and like this really light beige and mixing them together spotting it to make it look like obviously like it's an aged vessel and then i actually decided to try the whole flower method which you actually sprinkle the pot with when the paint is still wet and then you wait a little bit and then dust it off and this is the way that it turned out it actually looks really good i'm so surprised honestly I love the way that it came out and I'm actually excited to keep trying this. I need more practice obviously, but so far I am in love. I really felt like this little cabinet needed greenery. So I decided to add another stem of the one that I got from Joann's and add it to this face right here because I felt like it just went so perfect with the color or the shade of this vase. I love this vase by the way. And I also ended up adding a few Christmas village houses i actually got these at the target dollar spot years ago i feel like i've had them for like four or five years and they still look really good i mean a little chipped in one corner but other than that they are perfectly fine i just gave them a fresh new coat of paint because they were really they really needed it Also have been seeing a lot of rib velvet ribbon tied in lots of things throughout Christmas decor so I thought that I would tie it into this vase to give it a little bit more warmth because it was feeling a little green and cooler. For 
for the most part, I kind of have an idea where I want to place my decor, but I also just play around with what I have and see how I like it. So I typically like to have really neutral spaces, but I also like to have some type of contrast. Now these nutcrackers were not doing it for me, so I ended up spray painting them and they actually look even better. They actually look like the Crate and Barrel nutcrackers that are actually like $60. So I mean, this is just a win-win. <laughs> I'm not sure if you guys remember from my previous haul, I bought this garland of bells and I didn't like the color, but I really liked the fact that there was a lot of can a lot of bells for the price of the garland. So I ended up taking them apart or taking them off of the juke cord so that I could spray paint them. I spray painted them black. I just don't know where the video went, to be honest. I'm so sorry about that. But I painted them black and then I went back with in with some rub and buff. In the antique gold color and basically just rubbed until i like the shade of gold or brass of the bells i actually found velvet ribbon from last year and i decided that it would be really cute to hang the bells with the ribbon and tie them together I really felt like this little corner needed a little bit of contrast so I thought that a pretty stem would look really good in this little tote that I have here by the door and it was just like the perfect little touch. that is all for today's episode thank you guys so much for watching i appreciate it so so much and i hope that you feel inspired to decorate your house and see how simple it is and how these really budget-friendly hacks and items can actually make your house feel very pinterest worthy as well and yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you next time bye